and my yeah. face like literally looks <laughs> doesn't it look like it's lit up <laughs> like I don't know, like hellfire. <laughs> Hello equestrians and welcome back to my channel. I have a really busy day plan. As you can see, Peps is rocking a nice mohawk at the moment. She actually feels really soft. Um, really, really soft. But I'm going to clip her out again today, ready for the spring to start enjoying the uh, warmer weather. I do actually clip her all year round, but I'll talk to you a bit about that later and why I do that. But we're going to go for a hack, which is why I am very brightly dressed right now. And that will be another video, a little GoPro video for you guys to enjoy. So we're going to hack out and then my plan is to come back, bath peps. And I'm going to use my new dry rug to test that out for you guys, which I'm really excited about. And then we're going to clip the hairy monster. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We survived, that's all we wanted to do. <laughs> that's what I said at the start, as long as we come back. And we've got that, we got back alive feeling. <laughs> oh God. Well, as you can probably tell, we are back from a rather adventurous hack. Not adventurous, what's the word for it? <sighs> Exciting on their behalf. Uh, <laughs> they had loads of fun. We, however, did not. But we're back, we're safe. That's what's important. And now, just for that, just as payback, you're gonna have a bath and you're gonna be Clint. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> I did say, like, I'd mentioned clipping her, so she's probably gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a mare, and she was. Weren't you? And then we got back and she's like, oh, I love you, mum. All cuddly and lovely. So yeah, time to get bathed. I'm gonna boil a kettle, I think, because it's a bit cold. And I'm a softie, and I don't want you to get cold. We've got... We've got a dry rug to try out, which I'm so excited about because I saw these back in mm, 27, 27, no, I was pregnant, 2019, um, <laughs> that's helped me remember, uh, back in 2019 at Hickstead I saw them, like I went to the dry rug stand and they looked amazing and I really wanted one and now we've got one, um, I do, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's, there's a bit of a wind tunnel here, um, but I do clip Peps all year round, and I said I would say why. Uh, Peps has a really thick, coarse coat, so in the winter she gets really, really sweaty, and in the summer she also really suffers, obviously being dark as well, sitting in the sun for hours she gets really, really warm, and she struggles. And I only clipped her in the winter at first, when I first got her, and then I started, I think it was maybe like two, Three years ago, in 2018 I think, I started clipping her in the summer and I saw such a difference in her. She was just, <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> she was just way more like into her work and up for doing things and wasn't so lethargic. So yeah, I just clip her all year round now. So having the dry rug is super handy, especially on like show days and stuff. And just in the winter where I wouldn't normally be able to bath her. Hopefully now I can. Um, not that I like bathing excessively, I have spoken about this before, but um, to bath before clipping would be ideal because she does have a few lumps and bumps and bits and bobs on her because um, she's very sensitive. I've said that before too. Sensitive with her asthma, with her skin, with the pollen. <laughs> so yeah, it would be nice I think for her skin health to have a good bath before clipping in future. So what do you want? What do you want from me? Huh? What do you want from me? She says, stop talking to the camera and get on with it. And you're right, because <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take her to dry. Um, I might not get around to clipping her today. It depends if she dries in time. So let's get bathing. Yes, bath time. You stinky pony. Stinky. You have not had a bath since summer. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm a stinky pony. <laughs> she says, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> And ring that notification bell. <laughs> ah, I found my organised equestrian day planner here, which I've not used since the show last year because obviously no shows were going ahead. But fingers crossed, we are going to be writing down some stuff in our planner very soon. And 
yeah, I haven't got any of this stuff out since we were last at show, so just digging stuff out. Got a brand new Haas. I have spongy brush just for the occasion. Just for you. Just for you. Yes. Can I help? Can I help you? She looks so cute. And some of the exclusive pro range. Yeah, the pro range. I'll say that again. again. Yay! I really need to clean my tech. And these I'm are. Are you not? No, I'm just clean my Just your stirrups. <laughs> And here are the uh, shampoos that I'm gonna use. Shampoos I'm gonna use. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So the plan is to give her a quick bath now. I've just put the kettle on and it's just about to, and it's just about to boil. So that'll just take, you know, the edge off the cold water of it. And yeah, just very quickly bath her because it is quite cold. And then pop the dry rug on. And while she's drying, I'm gonna do like all my jobs. I'm gonna do the mucking out and her water and feeds and everything. So that's the plan. And yeah, I'm just gonna get to it. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. had to be quite fast because I don't know if you'll be able to see but um Peps was shivering bless her so I've just given her body like the quickest wash ever and um I'm gonna now chuck her brand new dry rug on and then I'm gonna do her legs I have started her legs but I saw her shivering and I was like oh no so we'll get this on her body so she can start drying and then we'll probably start clipping the body and do the legs last is a damn good fit if I do say so myself. You look very smart in navy. modeling her new dry rug all very pretty pips unfortunately the logo's on the other side but it's a really like perfect fit i didn't even have to adjust the belly straps it fits her perfectly and as you can probably see there's literally loads of room in the neck peps has a massive neck and uh it still fits her really nicely hopefully she's gonna dry nicely under there and she's stopped shivering so that's a good sign. I'm just going to carry on with the legs in a minute, but I'm going to come round and move over. Let's get a nice picture this side. Good girl. Show off your dry rug. Oh, hello, legend. Ooh, pretty girl. Pretty girl. And the neck is also detachable if you want to, but yeah, we want your neck covered, don't we? Just gonna carry on with the legs now. Careful. 
feeling that the legs might be dry in time. Ooh, look at the white sock! Look how white that sock is. <laughs> it looks so white on camera. <laughs> Right, she's all done. I'm just gonna leave her here with her hay net and we're gonna get mucking out. Quick update before I start mucking out. It, Peps has had the dry rug on for about, I wanna say 15 minutes and she is already drying under there, but she is like always fully clipped anyway, so she doesn't have much coat. But even considering that, I think that's amazing. Like, obviously she's still got a bit of drying to do and I'm hoping by the time I've done my mucking out, then hopefully she'll be dry and I can start clipping. Whew, it's gonna be one hell of a day today. I'm already knackered. Anyway, let's get on with the mucking out. I timed myself mucking out the other day, Nick. 16 minutes. <laughs> Without talking to people, yeah. <laughs> it was me trying to do it as quickly as possible, but still. Okay guys, look at my wild hair. I don't know what's going on with my hair lately. I have these really curly like bits either side. I don't know what that's about. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I've mucked out and chucked the bed up. I'm gonna bring Peps in now to clip her. I've got my lovely uh, Lister Legend clippers here and they have recently been serviced and the blades sharpened uh, through Ingate Stone Saddlery. Definitely go and check them out and give them a like over on Instagram. You guys probably know by now that I spend half my life at Ingate Stone when, you know, life is normal, <laughs> which it's not right now. But yes, I always get my clippers serviced and the blades sharpened through Ingate Stone Saddlery. So, yep, they're all ready to go. Now just to get the pony and check if she's dry, because <laughs> I can't start until she's dry. So, first things first, let's see if she's dry. Are you good girl? Well guys, I have just checked under her dry rug and Peps is in fact dry. And it hasn't taken that long at all. I'd say she's been in it maybe half an hour. Like I say, her coat is a lot thinner than your average horse. So if you have a horse that's got more hair, obviously it's gonna take longer to dry. Her legs are a little bit damp. I've sort of rubbed them dry with a towel, but I'm hoping by the time I've kind of done her body that her legs will be okay to do. Um, and yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed with that. I'm definitely uh, pleased that I've got myself one now. Handy to have if I ever do need to bath her. So yeah, and she feels nice and toasty warm under there. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, hang on. So I've got some of my lovely bed down lavender shavings here. And yeah, they just don't really stick. There you go. Nice and easy to uh, keep clean too. Yeah, it's just gonna be perfect, I think. When we are going back to shows. Yeah, it won't be long now. She's like, oh no. <laughs> to be honest, same. Like, I'm not looking forward to the, uh, the stress and the panic <laughs> and the anxiety that comes with it. One of the other things uh, you've probably noticed from previous clipping vlogs that I don't normally bath beforehand. One reason is because like, I've never had the means to dry her quick enough. Um, and yeah, timing wise with having a baby and stuff, it's quite difficult to get the time like today to do a pony pan per day. But I am glad I've been able to give that to her uh, today. But I was talking to my friend over at Baxter Equine Services. You can follow her, the link down below. And she is prof a professional sort of groom and clipping expert, I suppose you could say and she advised me to um to bath before clipping and said that it just means that it's a lot easier to get through the coat which makes sense because you've kind of washed all the dirt and the grime away and uh yeah just leaves you with a nice finish so i'm excited to see how she looks after this clip peps won't be excited when the clippers start <laughs> anyway let's get going she says i don't want my nice snuggly dry rug off i'm nice and warm under here Look 
the shavings just come off. It's so satisfying. Before we even start, just look at how beautifully shiny she is after a nice bath with the Pro Nero shampoo and her super white sock as well. And this is even before clipping. So, oh, I'm excited to get clipped and get a hot cloth on her. You are going to look amazing. <laughs> She may not even need her body doing, she's just got like peach fuzz to be honest, like look, look at Peppa's peach fuzz on her face. It's mainly like her feathers and her mane that need doing really, but I'll go over the body anyway. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. <laughs> For any younger viewers, don't worry about that. You'll find out when you're older. <laughs> the uh, lighting isn't great this side of the stable, so I often struggle to see like the underneath of her and stuff. But now I have my echo light and I'll be able to see all the bits. Just don't want to blind you guys, but yeah, I'll now be able to see all the bits underneath that I need to get. I'll just show you the difference like see if you can see so this is without I don't know if you'll be able to see it like I see it because the camera picks things up differently but this is without and that's with hopefully you'll be able to see that on camera now I can see what I'm doing off I'm gonna hot cloth her quickly just on her body because I think she's feeling a bit cold so we, yeah she's definitely feeling the cold can you see this poor girly all right Baba I'll put your fleece on for a sec while the kettle's boiling and then yeah we're just gonna rug her up while we clip the legs hopefully they're gonna be dry enough I think they're a bit damp but we need to get you clipped darling so <laughs> tough cookies in it Let's get you wrapped up. Hey, Baba, you cold? Let's put a rug on her. Hopefully this will warm her up. While the kettle's boiling, I can't actually clip because we've only got one plug socket. Um, but I've put a rug, I've put her dry ruggy back on. So hopefully she'll start warming up. And obviously when we hot cloth her, um, we just put the dry rug straight back on, so. She should be fine now, you poor little sausage. Sensitive soul, aren't you? Hey? Yeah, is that better? Is that better?
to neaten up her tail a little bit just very quickly because it is very bushy at the moment Look at that pile of hair on the floor. <laughs> that looks much better. And here we have the finished result. Look at that shiny white sock. Hey, shiny pony. I didn't do a head because I butchered it last time. So I'm gonna see if the lady who has clipped peps before will do it again for me. There's her nice, neat tail. And yeah, she's warmed up a bit, dried out with the dry rug on. So now she can have a nice, toasty, warm, Rug on. Hi guys, sorry, my uh, camera battery died, unfortunately. Uh, so annoying, because I literally just needed to film my outro. I think me and outros are just cursed, like, let's just face it. <laughs> just, I'm always doomed to film my outro, like, a week or two after I've finished filming. Peps actually had her face clipped yesterday. I had Laura from Clippity Clop Clipping Services, who has clipped Pepper in the past for me. She just, she's like, you know she knows what she's doing unlike me so she kind of you know she does a better job and i'm just a bit like nervous about doing pepper's face i don't know i'm just not that confident doing it so i'd rather have someone who is confident and knows what they're doing clipping pepper's face for me so that's all done i'll insert a little video from today that i took so you can see her face looking all nice and trim she looks very very pretty so i'll pop that in now peps has had her face done by clippity clop clipping services and she looks nice and neat and tidy much better than if mummy was to do it <laughs> oh she looks so smart now she's like put me out in the field so yeah there you go peps is all clipped and she's been pampered i wish i could have a pamper day <laughs> I would love a pamper day, a day at the spa. I think that's well needed. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the dry rug. I wasn't sure how quickly she would dry in it, um, but knowing that I can dry her that quickly in the future is really handy to know. You know, we're going into spring now. We'll have days where we'll put the horses out, for example, because it's nice and sunny. And then in the afternoon, we'll just get a downpour because that's what spring's like. And then it can still get quite chilly in the evenings. So I can throw a dry rug on and dry her off before she has her rug on and stuff. It's just such a handy thing to have. So yes, I'm really, really excited to have that now and I look forward to using it in the future. I also really liked how easy it was to clip peps once she'd been bathed. So thank you very much to Baxter Equine Services because it definitely made a difference just like nice and smooth having my blades sharpened obviously helps too so another thanks to Ingate Stun Saddlery for a super service there as well I think when I take them in it takes maybe a week a week and a half for the clippers to be sent off and 
to come back so that's not too long at all yeah i thought i'd let you guys know about that because you might not know that they offer services like that but yeah super happy i think peps looks amazing now she's all neatened up for spring and fingers crossed we'll be able to go out to some shows again i'll be able to use my organized equestrian day planner so that i've got everything organized and ready to go out and yeah make the most of the season hopefully like i really just like maybe not even shows just to go out to clinics and things would be really really nice just to continue training yeah would be awesome and get off the yard and do different things maybe go to the beach go out hacking nice places it would just be so so nice so yeah really really hoping that we can get back on track I'm feeling a bit more positive this time around because people have started to get vaccinated and stuff. I actually have my vaccine booked for this coming Wednesday. So yeah, that's uh, that's fun. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do like and leave a comment down below. Subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!